what's what what's the, what's, what, what's the word um party foul or what, whatever you know you know what i mean <laughs> Hey bunnies, for today's video, we're going to be reviewing the hair that I'm wearing right now and this is a U-part wig and this is from Model Model. The company did send this wig to me for my review and this is what you're getting right now. So I'll be inserting a clip somewhere here for you guys to see how I actually install this wig and how super easy it is, especially if it's your first time wearing a wig or a U-part wig or anything like that. It's super easy. It comes with three combs in the front, one in the back, adjustable straps, and then the band itself, it has like a plastic lining on it. They call it their uh, 360 secure band, something like that. Let me see. They call it the non-slip 360 degree support band. In the packaging, it, of course, it comes in a black net to keep the hair together. You get the tag. The color I'm wearing is a 1B. The length, I want to say, is about a 16, 18, somewhere around there inch. This is the tag that comes on there. It comes in one, two, three, four, five different colors. There's jet black, 1B that I'm wearing, the OT blue black, and the OT 99J. The OT just means that it's like an ombre tone. So you have the, it has the 1B at the top and then either the blue or the 99J towards the end. So if you, if you want a little bit of color, you have that option there. The texture is more of a yaki, relaxed hair texture so it blends with my hair like pretty well i did use some of the shine and jam on my hair to blend a little bit better because i didn't want to add any more heat to my own hair if you want it of course you can you know straighten your own hair to blend it in better and that's always an option there if you don't want to put products on your hair but i don't mind products i didn't want to add any more heat the wig itself is curling iron safe flat iron safe up to 400 degrees so again if you wanted to straighten your hair to blend in with this you could always clamp both extensions the yeah the extensions and your natural hair together and just straighten that together for the the for a better blend. You can also do this as a side part if you wanted to, but I really wanted to do a center part because that is like literally the easiest one to do. Like I said, again, if it is your first time wearing a wig, you part, anything like that. The hair is super soft. Yes, I said the texture is more of a relaxed teriyaki texture, but it feels amazing. It's a very flowy, very bouncy. There has not been any tangles except for when I was actually putting it on, like the ends of the hair would get caught up in the back of the wig, but you know, but that's it there again like i was saying super bouncy super flowy super soft i will say though that there is some shedding like as i'm running my fingers through the hair i don't know how well you can see that but i am getting like a couple strands of hair falling out there and that's like literally the only downside to it it's not very thick you know it's not that full coarse texture it's yeah it feels very natural like a like a 4b relaxed hair texture I'd, I'd go 4b 4c relaxed hair texture it's very very soft very natural looking very realistic again the length is about 16 maybe 18 inches absolutely gorgeous hair love the hair i will leave the price the dollar amount right here so that you can see how much it costs and where you can get and all that stuff i will find links for you leave them in the description bar of where you can purchase your own u part wig just like this especially if you don't have the time to sit down and actually make a u part wig and you just want something quick you know and if you're in a hurry you just want to slap something on really quick but still look put together this is the wig for you okay if there are any other questions, if you feel like there's something I should have mentioned that I didn't mention, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, peace sign and kissy face. Bye. And I just so happened to fall in love with someone else. Was my love for him fake? Was it not real? Did I not truly love him? Was, not, was he not really the love of my life at one point? Do we only get one true love?